No question, too much carbon dioxide in our atmosphere is a bad thing. But one research group is experimenting with ways to remove CO2 from the skies, and it's happening right in our backyard. Meteorologist Steve Fundero went to the Outer Banks to check it out. The current imbalance in our atmosphere is putting more heat into our climate. More heat just translates to more energy. That means more energy in our waves eroding our beaches, more energy to intensify storms off our coastlines, and more energy to upset typical weather patterns. But what if there could be a way to use that energy and restore balance? As the changing tides continue to shift the sands of the outer banks, probably the worst section of the beach that we've got at the moment. Nature seems to know best. Another home on the Outer Banks. Well, there were three houses out there. Two of them have disappeared. In the 60s, it had a dune in front of it, but we lose four to five inches of sand every year off the front. And it's nature that will always find a way. Despite beach erosion, challenging food and water supply. They probably deal with it better than we do because they're out here all the time figuring it out. For centuries, the Corolla wild horses adapt naturally with beauty and grace. Our herd size right now is the highest it's been in, in some years. They're healthy enough to breed and reproduce. And so that's very exciting for us. So how can we take a page from nature's book? About 25 miles south at the Army Corps of Engineers Field Research Facility, there might be that answer. And you go straight out, probably about midway. The Public Benefit Corporation, Vesta, is leveraging the strength of the ocean to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by using a natural mineral, olivine sand. This was the best possible site to do this because it is one of the best studied coastlines in the entire world. Back in the spring, three barge loads of about 6,500 cubic yards of olivine sand were dumped into the waters offshore of Duck. This mineral reacts with the excessive carbon in the ocean and essentially gives the sea more space to naturally absorb the carbon dioxide littering our atmosphere. We understand that we are doing this in the ocean that, that belongs to everybody, so we want to do it as responsibly as we can and advance the science in a way that people can truly trust that what we're doing is safe and effective. As the results from this small-scale pilot project are soon to come in, the research group is already thinking forward on how to incorporate this process into beach renourishment. We need to move quickly, but only as quickly as the science says that we can. And as for the rest of us, we may not need exact science to show us how to be mindful of the world around us. Like the Mustangs, sometimes all we need is a view of the changing tides. Due to just the cycle of storms getting worse or just our bad luck, we have lost a lot of beach over the last five to six years. Steve Federo, 10 on your side.